How's it going guys? Boy in a Scanner here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna give you an introduction to Sentinel. I wanted to make this video because there's not a lot of information out there just guiding new scanner users through Sentinel. Maybe you've just purchased your SDS-100 from Uniden and you wanna know how to get some frequencies simply programmed using Sentinel and Windows. So I'm just gonna sit down and show you some basic programming using Sentinel. It's a lot easier than it may look, it might look a little bit overwhelming, but it is very simple to use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to get started right away. One thing that you need to go ahead and get used to using Sentinel, and you'll wanna do this every single time you use it, get in the habit of always reading from your scanner. So we have this little tab right up here called Read From Scanner. So I have my SDS-100 plugged in, and what I wanna do is just go ahead and read from the scanner. And the reason I wanna do this is because I do a lot of manual programming and you might do a lot of manual programming on your SDS-100 and you really don't wanna lose that information. So for me, I do programming in Sentinel, I do manual programming, and what happens if I do not read from the scanner the first time I plug it back into Sentinel before I do anything to it? Um, you. I could actually lose all that data. So you wanna read from the scanner, that way everything that you've changed manually is uploaded to Sentinel. Then you can make changes to the database inside of Sentinel and then go ahead and write to the scanner so you don't lose any of the programming you've done. For instance, this system right here I did manually, this ham intertie. So I have all these different repeaters that I input manually on the SDS-100. So if I lost all this, that would really not be cool because I'd have to go in there and reprogram everything. So because I was because I read from the scanner first, that data is here now. So any favorites lists that I've created uh, manually are now inside of Sentinel. So now we can make some changes. When you first set up Sentinel, you'll probably see something that looks just similar to this with nothing really here, no favorites lists, um, and you'll have your database we got the US and we have Canada. So the first thing we wanna do after we've read from our scanner, everything from the scanner is on the computer in Sentinel, we wanna go ahead and click update. We have a couple different tabs in Sentinel. So you'll notice up here we have file, edit, view, scanner, update, tools, and help. Down here you'll find some of the same functions that are inside these menus. For instance, scanner, if I click this, we have a read and write, clear user data. Right here, I have clear user data, write to scanner, and read from scanner. Same with these, you know, we have update firmware, update database, and options. So what we need to do is update the firmware. Always update your firmware when you plug it in. When you plug in your SDS-100, uh, just to make sure, uh, see if you need an update. We're good, so we'll click OK. And then we want to do in one more update, which is the master database. And it looks like I have the current version of that. I believe they update the database once uh, once a week. Maybe they do that more. I'm not quite sure. But it seems like most of the time when I plug my SDS-100 in to Sentinel, there is an update for the database. So there's always new frequencies being added. So make sure to, to get those updates done um, so you're current with your scanner. Anyway, so to get started here, the first thing we can do after we've read from our scanner and we've done our updates, uh, we could click create new favorites list. So I just want to decide, so you know, obviously before you create your favorites list, you want to kind of explore and I'll just close this. We'll actually come over here. We'll open up, I'm in the USA. So I'm going to open the USA database here and this is all the frequencies. Um, in the USA that are on the radio reference database. So for instance, I'm gonna go ahead and open up, let's open up Oregon here. And I want to find a county, we'll go with Hood River. So I'm gonna click on Hood River here. So I click the plus arrow and it opens up these menus. So you'll notice if I close it, if I just click Hood River, I can open things up on the right too. So if I double click nationwide, it's gonna show everything here, or I can show it on the left by clicking those plus signs. So we want county systems. I'm gonna open up county systems, and you'll just have to f 
find your own way to program um, and how to organize your scanner. Really, that's the biggest thing about this. That's the hardest part about this whole programming. You know, the SDS 100 is just organizing all of your favorites lists. That's really the trick. So really get good at naming your favorites lists and um, kind of organizing things. So I'll show you what I do. So for instance, we're in county systems for Hood River. And what I want to do is I'm going to make an airport free. I'm going to do some airport frequencies. So for Hood River, so what I could actually do is I could either select this or I could select um, the system here. So I'm just going to select um, airports and I'm going to click a pin to favorites list. And you'll notice new favorites list is available or I have all the existing favorites lists on my scanner. I'm going to go ahead and click new favorites list and I'm going to type in hood river airport and I'll just click OK and you'll notice down at the bottom on the left we have our Hood River Airport favorites list with our Hood River Airport frequency in here so that is how you create a quick favorites list inside of Sentinel and now maybe the way I do things is I like to separate things by uh, counties and service types so if I click Hood River County and now I want to do if I hit shift I can go ahead and select all these at once so now I'm gonna right click on the police and append a favorites list and I'm gonna do another new favorites list and I'll do Hood River Law and now you'll notice down at the bottom we have Hood River Law so if I open that, we have all of our frequencies here. One thing you need to remember also, just another pro tip for the SDS 100 is the favorites list here. You'll notice some of my favorites lists are fairly long and about 90% of them, I can't read all of them on, on my SDS 100, which is kind of a problem. Um, the screen on the SDS 100 only comes to about here. So, and unfortunately the text doesn't scroll. I was I'm hoping that might be an update they can do on the SDS 100 if they do, um, you know, catch some 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 messages from people talking about this issue. But you can only see half the favorites list if it's too long. It doesn't like the text should scroll across um, so that you can read the whole thing. But so keep that in mind when you're building your favorites list names. Uh, try to keep them very short so that you can read them on your scanner because you know you can get really really. Um, detailed with your favorite list names and then you go ahead and program them on your scanner and you can't even read them so it doesn't do any good so make sure to get good at naming your favorites list short and detailed so that you can understand what they are um, okay so I've created two favorites lists we got Hood River Airport and we got Hood River Law now I could go ahead and maybe we want to do Let's open up this Crescent 911. So this is some more digital law enforcement. So I'm going to add some of this inside here. Um, this is Clark County. So yeah, so we'll go ahead and right click this, append to favorites list. And then I will scroll down and I'm going to select Hood River Law and we'll just click OK again. And now I have those frequencies from the Cressa digital system inside of Hood River Law favorites list. So I have my conventional frequency that's there. I believe that was conventional. Yeah, and then my digital Cressa system here. So now we have the TGIDs already in here. We have we have our P25 system here as well. So uh, you can mix, you know, conventional and digital uh, in your favorites list. And, you know, there's all these different different things here, businesses that I could add. It looks like it's just the Hampton there. Um, I could do some statewide stuff. For instance, if I wanted to do a Oregon Forests, or we'll do Oregon Nat Park Service, okay? We'll actually make this a little shorter. We'll just do OR, and then we'll click OK, and that should show up down at the bottom. OR Na National Park Service so I could go ahead and come back up here and I found the park service in here where did that go 
right here. Crater Lake National Park. So if I wanted a Oregon Park Service, um, I could go ahead and just add this into my Oregon Park Service favorites list. And then, you know, any other park service um, frequencies that I find in Oregon, I could just throw into that statewide system. So, you know, this is a way to do like county stuff. Um, you could label these like Hood River County Law, Hood River County Airport, you know, etc. Just really get good at naming these um, so that you can read them and make them make sense to you on your scanner. You can reorganize them by coming up to edit. So you can go to edit and then sort favorites list. So for instance, if I wanted to take that law and move it up one, I could go ahead and click this up key. You'll notice it moves to 157. I could move it back down to 158. Um, I could move it all the way back up or I could go ahead and um, you know, put in some favorites list names um, I could go by quick key, ascending, descending. You know, there's all these different uh, different ways to sort your favorites lists. I kind of just leave them how they are like this, and then I, I just put the ones I listen to the most up towards the top and go from there. I'm not going to save that. Make sure to save your favorites list anytime you move them around. Um, so now we've got a few different little favorites lists here created, and I'm just going to create one more. I want to do. I wanted to do um, Boise business, and this is in Idaho. Um, I wanted to find a few businesses in Boise, so I'm going to come up here to Idaho, and we're going to expand Idaho. And Ada County is what I'm looking for. County systems, uh, Micron for instance, is a business there is one I wanted to add. So we'll right click Micron and then select Boise Business and we'll append it to their to that favorites list. So now down here we got Boise Business and then you can see Micron Technologies in there. So if I come back up, I can find some more to add. So we got the city of Boise, Hewlett Packard. I'm gonna right click on this one, append to favorites list. Didn't even know Hewlett Packard was still around. Boise Business, and then we'll go ahead and click OK. And then, you know, here's some DMR here that I could add for businesses. So there's some automotive services, locksmith, construction, preschool, landscaping. So, you know, I could add all these different DMR frequencies in here because they're businesses. So we'll add those. And the really nice thing too about Sentinel is if I accidentally deleted something, you know, I could just run back up to the database up here on the top and then re-add it again to my favorites list. So if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. And if you do have any questions about Sentinel or the SDS 100, video ideas, things you want to learn, let me know down there in that uh, comment section. And make sure to hit that subscribe button, check that bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Uh, really enjoy this channel so far, it's been a lot of fun. So anything that you guys want to see, let me know. That definitely helps me come up with new uh, content. Anyway, this is a, just a brief introduction to Sentinel. And I'm going to go ahead and write to the scanner now that I've made some changes. So I'm going to click Write to Scanner. And then I always erase the favorites list on the scanner here. And the reason I do that is because when I read from the scanner, when I first opened Sentinel, I read from the scanner, I got everything that I did manually. Um, you know, all the changes I made in Sentinel last time were there. So I read from the scanner, got all that data onto my computer. And now when I put it back on the scanner, I want to erase that memory card and just rewrite over the top of everything since now all my new changes are there as well on top of everything that was old. So um, I always just replace everything on there, start from scratch every time I re-upload. So that's how I do it. Um, it's finished writing the scanner now. So we are set. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Be happy. Get your freak on. Cheers. Thank you.